All right, here we go. Ready? 10. So straight down and up, sitting in a chair. Good tempo. Three, four. Stick your butt out. Five, six. Really push up. Weight in the heels, knees not past the toes, and drive. Get the hips forward too. All right, that's 10. We got five more. Clench the cheeks at the top. <laughs> All right, that's 15. Shake that up for a second. All right, now we're doing uh, some. <laughs> <laughs> Some jump <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Some jump squats to give it a little bit extra burn. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. All right. <laughs> Ready? 15. One <laughs> is one. All right, one rep. So if you can count to 30, hopefully you can. You'll get a nice burn here. Land softly on your feet. I don't care how fast you're going. Keep your core on. All right, we got five more. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, all right. Shake it out. We've got a couple more exercises to go. Walk it out. Take a few seconds. Now we're going side to side back, okay? Side to side. Side lunge. Then we're going back. Side lunge. Oh, and back. All right, you're gonna try to get through 15 of these. That's one rep. Run number two. God, I worked out legs the other day and I got no steam in them, but it's all mental. Really try to stretch out that hamstring there. Good form, balance it up. Take a spot on the wall and really look straight ahead. We're all weight here. You're not gonna drop the bar. I don't care how heavy it is or how hard. Do not drop the bar. If you need to take a rest, I'd rather see you take a rest than stop. Push right through. All right, we got three more. One, count with me, count with me. Oh, that's one. Two, really get a good lunge. It's okay if you're slow as molasses on these last ones like myself, but you're really still getting a good burn. Oh. All right, all right. All right, now you've hit your quads pretty good. All right, now we're doing a deadlift. Give yourself a few seconds. Hopefully you got to 15, all right? You're going through this five times. Your legs will be mush on your fifth round, okay? I did this one the other day and I'm still feeling it today. All right, deadlift. Slight bend in the knees. Keep the back straight. Now your first movement, you want your hips to come right out like you're, you've got a kitchen drawer behind you or something and you're, Popping it right there. You're gonna try to hit it with your butt. All right. All right. You should feel a nice little hamstring stretch. All right. Head up, shoulders together, core on, all those things like we always talk about. Now, when you're coming down for your stretch, recommend the weight in the heels so you get a good. Good stretch in those hamstrings. You should feel it right there. 
All right, we got five more. One, two, three, four. Protect your lower back by keeping your core on. Five. All right, that is the workout. Now, I'm gonna throw in a little bonus with you. If you need a little calf work, like myself. All right, load the bar and just get up on your toes for 15. All right, or one other tip I'm gonna give you when you're doing your front squats at the beginning when we're doing our normal squat, come right up on your toes and come right back down so you're hitting some calves as well. All right, so if you wanna hit calves, hit calves with me uh, as well, but you can do them on your first exercise or isolate them totally on your last. All right, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this. Load your bars with lots of weight. Take enough rest in between your sets. You're gonna go through this five times. So let me know how you did. And we got arms and shoulders for day three.